To perform a weight and balance, you'll need the pilot's operating handbook and a copy of the weight and balance report for your aircraft. In this case, we're going to be looking at 9370 Alpha, which is a 172. This weight and balance was performed in March of 2021, and what we're going to be looking for is the empty weight and the moment, um, total corrected empty weight moment. And so what we're going to do is we're going to enter in in our POH 1621 is the empty weight and the moment is divided by 1000 so that's 65.67. Now that we have the basic empty weight information for our airplane we need to take a look at what our mission for today is going to be. So let's say you are, are the pilot and you're bringing along two of your friends on a, a flight and you're, you weigh 180 pounds, uh, passenger one is 175, passenger two is 175, and passenger two is bringing with them a 20 pound bag. So what you're gonna do is enter in this information into your, your table within the POH. Um, so what you're gonna need is to calculate the pilot and front passenger. So that's 175 pounds plus 180 is 355 pounds. So we'll enter 355 in here. The rear passenger we said was 175 pounds. And baggage area one, we said that he's gonna have a 20 pound bag with them. So let's say that this is gonna be a long cross country and we're gonna want 53 gallons of fuel. What we need to enter is the weight of fuel. So the conversion is six pounds uh, per gallon. So 53 gallons times six is 318 pounds. So we'll enter 318 pounds into the cell. And so what you need to do next is add everything up, all your weights first. Um, we need to make sure that we're under the max gross weight of the plane, which in this case is 2,550 pounds. If you're above that, uh, there's no point in continuing your calculation because you're overweight. So 1,621 plus 318 plus 355 plus 175 plus 20 is 2,489 pounds. And again, we're under now 2,550, which tells us that we are okay from a gross weight standpoint. Now we need to make sure that our center of gravity is within limits. And to do that, what we're gonna do is figure out what the moment is within the tables that are in the POH. So for the fuel, we have 318 pounds. And you see here is the line that represents the fuel. Uh, on the x-axis, we have the moment, and on the y-axis, we have the weight. And you notice conveniently that the weight of fuel doesn't go beyond 318 pounds. So we'll take that all the way to the max, and then we'll figure out where does that fall. And it looks like about 15.5. So we'll come up here, Let's say 15.5. Next, we're gonna take a look at the pilot and front passenger. They weigh a combined 355 pounds. Pilot and front passenger, you drag your Y line up to 355 and figure out where the lines intercept, right about here. And then you read down, so 10, 11, 12, let's say 13. And you enter 13, this row. Your rear passenger weighs 175 pounds. Again, drag your vertical line to where the two intercept. And again, we're about 13. So we'll go back up, enter 13. And the last piece of information is the baggage, which is 20 pounds. And it starts to get a little bit difficult as you get closer to the bottom of the, of the, the intersection of all the lines. So here's 20. And then baggage area one is this line. So we will drag this over to where it crosses. So it looks like about one point, let's say 1.8. 
And now that we have all the moments, it's time to add them all together. 65.67 plus 15.5 plus 13 plus 13 plus 1.8. It gives us 108.97. So now we have the weight of the airplane and the moment of the airplane. Now we need to see if it falls within the acceptable range. So we're going to go in our POH to the table that looks like this. That's the center of gravity moment envelope. And we know we're at 2,489 pounds. So we will draw the horizontal line that grows, goes across. And we know our moment is 108.97. So that is about here. And then where the two lines intersect, just draw a small circle. And since that is within the envelope, that tells us that we have an acceptable center of gravity and weight for the aircraft.